Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, Smoothin again, and today I'm going to solve a usefully step one U word question of the microbiology block. A seven-year-old boy is brought to the emergency department due to fever, headache, vomiting, and confusion. He has no prior medical conditions and is up to date with immunizations. The patient has not traveled recently and his parents report no exposure to individuals with similar symptoms or ingestion of anything out, out of the ordinary. They recently noticed several dead birds around their neighborhood. The temperatures increased. Physical examination shows neck rigidity and right lower extremity weakness with fasciculations. Cerebrospinal fluid analysis shows a leukocyte count of 200 per millimeter cube with 20% neutrophils and 80% lymphocytes. Which of the following pathogens is the most likely responsible for this patient's condition? The correct answer is here is E, which is the West Nile virus, because the West Nile virus is harbored in birds and transmitted to humans by mosquitoes. Most patients are asymptomatic, but the virus can cause an influenza-like illness or neuroinvasive disease with meningitis, encephalitis, and flaccid paralysis. And now we're going to read the summarized table of you would. Uh, West Nile virus is clinical syndrome. It causes fever, headache, rash, maculobabrillar, or uh, morbilliform. A neuroinvasive, for example, meningitis, encephalitis, and acute asymmetric flaccid paralysis, as we've said previously. It's like the Parkinsonian Barcons uh, symptoms, for example, rigidity, bradykinesia, and tremor. The mode of transmission is by mosquitoes, which is colic species, more commonly in summer and fall, in the warm climate in the southern of the United States, Latin America, and Africa. The risk factors are older age and malignancy and organ transplant. And thank you for watching.